So we have formulas for the area of a rectangle and the area of a square, and we can use those formulas to find the areas of odd-shaped figures like the one you see here. This isn't a rectangle or it isn't a square, but we can still use those formulas and I'll show you how. I'm going to solve this problem three different ways, and you should understand each way that it's done. They should all make sense and they all involve rectangles. First, I'm going to imagine drawing a line right here and dividing this into two rectangles, one here and one here. And the total area will be the area of the first rectangle plus the area of the second. Then another way to solve it would be this. I could draw a line right here and divide it into a small rectangle there and a bigger one down below. I can calculate the area of each of those two rectangles and add them up. And then there's a third way we can solve it, which might not be as obvious, but is just as good. I can extend this line here and this line there. And you can see that the thing that I'm trying to find, that area, is going to be equal to this large rectangle right there with this chunk taken out of the corner. So to find the area of this piece here, I can calculate this area and then this little piece here and subtract. So that's the third way to solve it. And I'll go through each of those and we'll get the same answer every single time. Here's the first solution. I'll draw a dotted line here and that gives me a rectangle on the left that I can see is 5 inches by 7 inches. And I can calculate the area there in my head. I just multiply 5 times 7. So the area of this piece is 35 square inches. Then I also have this piece over on the right. This rectangle over here I can see is 6 inches by 4 inches. So the area of this piece is 24 square inches. 6 times 4 gives me the 24. The area of the whole thing will be those added together. 35 square inches plus 24 square inches gives me a total of 59 square inches. This could also be done by dividing the rectangle like this. And now I have this little guy up top. He's 5 inches by 3 inches, so the area there is 15 square inches. 5 times 3 is 15. This one on the bottom, don't get confused by the 6 here. The 6 is just this length right there. We need this length, the 11 and the 4. So this area down here is 11 times 4, which is 44, and again it's square inches. So the total area will be those two added together. 15 square inches plus 44 square inches is 59 square inches, the same answer we got when we did it the other way. And then last of all, I'm going to complete this large rectangle by drawing in some lines. And you should see that this large rectangle has a length of 11 inches. And this total width here is the same as this side, and that's 7 inches. The 4 right there only refers to this piece right there, so we need the full 7. So the total area of this large rectangle is 11 times 7, which is 77 square inches. Now I need to imagine subtracting out this piece right here. And I can see that that's 3 inches by 6 inches. So the area of this piece is 3 times 6, which is 18, and that's 18 square inches. So the total area will be 77 square inches minus 18 square inches. And that comes out to 59 square inches. The same answer as we got when we did it the other two ways.